What's going on guys, Card Mechanic here, and today I'm going to be showing you a super easy card trick you could do with any deck of cards. Let's get into it. Alright, now check this out. We'll start off by having the deck shuffled by Spectator. And then while the Spectator shuffles the deck, I like to just have them pick out one card and then give the deck back to me. So let's just say they pick out this card. It doesn't matter if I see it, or it doesn't matter if I don't see it. But in this case, it is the Ace of Diamonds, just to make everyone's life easier. And to make it even more easier, we'll take the Ace of Diamonds and leave it right on top of the deck. And then we'll give the deck just a couple of cuts, nothing too crazy, and I'll even ask the Spectator to give the deck a few cuts. Okay, boom, boom, there we go. And now I'm going to spread out the cards, and if I didn't see the Spectator's card at this point, I'd ask the Spectator, what card did you pick? Spectator would say, Ace of Diamonds. So now at this point, I'm going to take out an imaginary Ace of Diamonds from the deck and give it to the Spectator. Tell the Spectator to hold on to your imaginary Ace of Diamonds. And also, tell me a number between, um, let's say, 1 and 20. Let's say the Spectator says the number is um, 8. So now we'll deal out 8 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven and the eighth card should be Well, actually the eighth, eighth card is not going to be the ace of diamonds because You're holding the ace of diamonds in your hand as a spectator So I'll ask the spectator take their ace of diamonds put it right on top of, of this pile right here And we'll try one more time So the eighth card you go one two three four five six seven and eight and here we have the Ace of Diamonds. Alright, now breaking this trick down, it's not really too complicated, but there are a lot of moving cards. So um, keep that in mind, the cards will move during this trick. So of course, first we're going to start off by having the Spectator pick out a card. And this ca Okay, this happened to be Ace of Diamonds again, it will not always be Ace of Diamonds. And just to show you, this is a regular deck. So let's just take another card, in case you think Ace of Diamonds is rigged. So over here we have 10 of clubs, we'll take the 10 of clubs, we tell the spectator we're going to take the 10 of clubs, leave it on top of the deck. And of course I like to have the spectator, I like to give the deck to the spectator, have them shuffle it up, pick out a card, then once they're done with all that I ask them to put the card back on top of the deck. This just again shows the spectator that they have more control over what's about to happen, even though that's a lie. So now once you're handing back the deck, or if you have the spectator put it back on top of the deck, what you want to do is you want to get a bend on the bottom card. So the way I do this, I come here with my uh, pinky finger here, and I just take this card and I bend it a little bit. So I just bend it just like this. So as you can see, it's a pretty decent bend in the deck. So now when I give the deck a cut, we'll know that the top card is going to be right under the bent card. So then at all times, we'll know exactly where the spectator's picked card is. So now when I'm cutting the deck, right, all I'm going to do is find the break. Well, actually, in the beginning, it doesn't really matter. I could pretty much just cut wherever I want to cut. And also have the spectator cut wherever they want to cut. And the best part is if you ask the spectator to do one cut and uh, their card is, you know, generally in the center, that's where the break is, or that's where the bent card is, then they could literally just, most of the time, here's from my experience, most of the time what happens is they automatically cut to where that bent card is without even taking a look at it unless they're really thinking about it and just put it to the side and complete that there and if that works out it is absolutely beautiful but uh, most of the time the bent is not exactly in the center but I mean you can position it that way and it'll work out really great so yeah I just talked a lot about just positioning the card but now you have the ten of clubs on top of the deck so at this point, what I like doing is giving the, uh, giving the spectator an imaginary card or having them, you know, think of their card and pretend they're holding it in their hand. So now once they've done that, we're actually going to, since their card is on top, we're going to start dealing out cards, not one at a time. So here's how we're going to deal. We're going to push over the top three cards, get a pinky break underneath and set it up like this. So pinky break underneath the top three cards. And now using this hand, I'm going to come on top here, hold the card like this, square it up here, thumb on the bottom, middle and ring finger on top, 
hold the card like this and deal it down. And this is just one card. So you're going to say, you're going to count one. You're going to take the double card here, two, depend, let's say this is the number five, three, four, and then you flip over the fifth card and you say, obviously, this is not your card. Your card is in your hand. So then you have the spectator take the card, put it right here. Okay, and now here we have five cards. So when we take this back and automatically put it here, if you count one, two, three, four, five, the fifth card is going to be the spectator's card. And now you don't want to count differently because remember in the beginning we counted like this. So you don't want to start counting like this, otherwise it's going to seem weird. So you want to be consistent throughout the whole trick. So all you're going to do, same way you're doing it before, you're going to count one, of course not no breaks or no doubles, two, three, four, and five. You can just turn this over and show the spectator, there's their card, the ten of clubs and their mind is blown and that's pretty much it for this trick so that pretty much wraps up this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and as always thank you so much for watching make sure to check out my social media links down in the description below for all my status updates and whatnot and i will see you in the next video welcome to the end screen if you liked the video make sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and subscribe because subscribing is good thanks for watching